Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about water for all. As you know that water is a basic necessity basic necessity for all terrestrial form of forms of life okay and we have also studied that about the importance of water as a resource we have also studied the water cycle and how human intervention and how human intervention pollutes water bodies okay so however human intervention also changes the availability of water in various regions okay so we will discuss how we can conserve or how we can save water by building dams or by using method of water harvesting so this is dams second is water harvesting okay so in le this lecture or in today's this lecture we will discuss about dams first and in the another lecture we will discuss about water harvesting okay so the first is dams so student why do we see to build, build large dams because large dams can assure or can ensure the storage of the storage of adequate water adequate water not just for irrigation not just for irrigation but also for generating but also for generating electricity okay as we have discussed in the previous chapter also okay students so canal system canal system leading from these dams leading from these dams can transfer can transfer large amounts of water large amounts of water great distances okay so for example example like of canal is indra gandhi canal indra gandhi canal has brought greenery to considerable areas of in rajasthan okay so it has brought greenery to a large area in rajasthan however mismanagement of water has largely led to the benefits being cornered by few people only and if we 
if we will manage the water efficiently we can like a large group of people can be beneficial from them but if we will mismanage it so only a so i can write here that the mismanagement of water has largely led to the led to the benefits being cornered by a few people only by few people okay so now we will discuss about some problems in particular in management of water so let me first delete this so students now we will see some criticisms or some problems of criticisms about large dams okay so first one is social problems because social problems because they displace large number of peasants and tribals without adequate compensation or rehabilitation because they displace large number of peasants and tribals without adequate compensation okay so this is the first criticism for dams second is economic problems economic problems because they swallow up because they swallow up huge amounts of huge amounts of public money without the generation of without the generation of proportionate benefits proportionate benefits and third one is environmental problems environmental problems because they contribute because they contribute enormously enormously to deforestation to deforestation and the loss of biological diversity and loss of biological diversity so these are the main criticism criticisms about large dams okay so students i hope that you are uh, aware of what are the main benefits of the dams and what are the uh, some criticism about large dams faced in india okay so now we going to discuss about water harvesting in the next lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning